Hi, I'm Aiden. And I'm Manuel. And this is The Ramsey Show. This week on this beloved show, we're going to have a question of the week, an interview, um, Rams update, Rocky reviews, PSA, no stuff going on at Ramsey. On to the question of the week, which is, if you discovered a planet, what would you name it? If you discovered a planet, what would you name it? Squad game! What would you name it? J7 planet. Well, if it was an ocean planet, I would name it Poseidon. If you discovered a planet, what would you name it? Um, New York. If you discovered a planet, what would you name it? Beast. Planet, what would you name it? Jaden. Uh, I would name it Pluto because I feel bad that they counted it out because it was too much. Great answers, Ramsey. I don't know what I would name mine, but what about you, Aiden? Oh, name mine. Yes, Mark. That's my middle name spelled backwards. Who is Miss Edgerson? I don't know. Let's find out. So, this is our interview with Miss A. Yay. So, what's your name and what do you teach? My name is Miss Atchison, and I teach sixth grade Minnesota studies, and I also teach an elective of In These Time World Issues. It's a good class. So, what's your favorite book? My favorite book would be the whole Harry Potter series. Um, Do you have one that you like especially? The one I like especially, I think the first one is the best one because it opened my mind to this whole world that she had just yeah. created and it was so wonderful. Do you have any pets? I do. I have a dog who's six, six or seven, and I have a cat who is five. I have cats. I, I love cats. Too. My cat's like 20 pounds. He's quite large. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, for Harry Potter, of course, what is your wand? Uh, my wand, selected, you know, for me, is a 12 inch, 3, 4, 12 and, 12 and 3 fourths inch vine wood with a dragon heart string. Quite unique, bendy, flexible, just wonderful wand. Gryffindor for life. Hufflepuff! Thanks for your time. Thank you for having me. And back to the anchors, Aiden Manuel. Oh, so that's Miss Atchison. Okay. She seems like a nice person. And now, well, now to the, to the Rams update with Jennifer and Lily. Hi, I'm Lily. And I'm Jennifer. And welcome, welcome to, to the, the Rams, Rams update. <laughs> Today is the last day you can buy a crush for a crush. You can pick them up next Friday at your lunchtime in the cafeteria. Yep. The dance is next Friday, so the dance guidelines will still be in effect. Make sure to be on your best behavior so you can go. The concert was yesterday. Do we have any clips? We do. Let's watch them. <laughs> from their game against Highland Middle School on January 31st. Let's watch it.
basketball players. You're doing great. And here's some other things that's going on at Ramsey. Now what we're doing is we are cutting shoes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cannot afford them in other countries. Interesting clips, Ramsey. Thanks for watching Rams Update. This, this has been Lily and Jennifer. We'll see you two weeks from now. Thanks, Jennifer and Lily, for that lovely update. Now on to Rocky Reviews. Take it away. So tonight went pretty well. We started with the, uh, the jazz band, which was pretty jazz horrific. Then we had the Boshni band. That was uh, pretty Boshni. And then after that, we had the orchestra, and they were yeah, pretty they cool. Did I liked really those songs. There. And then it all got, you know, hey, got down to the final moment with Concert Band. We started off with an American trilogy. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Then the Dreamscape. It was like a dream. <laughs> then it figured, and then we ended it with that amazing fire dance. Wow. Well, it's like fiery, and it's dancing. It was, it was really good. It was really good. It was, it was fire. great. It was fire. <laughs> There we go. We're done. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Thank you, Rocky. Have you noticed been swearing lately? Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know. How can we prevent that? Let's go find out in the PSA. Why did you do that? What the? Stop. Use school appropriate language while you're at school. Why should I use school appropriate language? Because you're in school and those are the rules. It also makes you sound more academic and gives you a chance to whip out that huge vocabulary. That's just how I talk, and I don't think I can change that. Like anything, using school-appropriate language takes practice, so maybe while you're in school, you can practice using school-appropriate language. I'll try. Remember, kids, use school-appropriate language, and if you accidentally do, just say you're sorry and try again. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Thanks for the great PSA. Now into other stuff happening at Ramsey. Hi, so um, in Mr. Fells and Ms. Jones's class, we made paper roller coasters in our engineering unit. So That's it for this week, Ramsey. And have an awesome weekend. Bye. Name it and why. Not, not why. <laughs> Just remember, dance is next Friday. And the dance guidelines have something. Okay. Quiet on the set. Are you kidding me? What would you name it? Hmm. Probably Sophia's planet.